In this video, we're going to go more in depth as far as the password protect folder. The password protect folder is a pretty cool feature inside of cPanel because you can essentially sell a product, protect it inside of cPanel, and then give users access once you set up the user access um, username and password, if that makes sense. You can give people access through having them log in using the username and password. And I'll show you how this all works in just a second. Let me head over to cPanel. First of all, uh, I do need to protect a folder. So let's just say, for example, I have a folder here that I want to drag over to my server and I'm going to protect this particular folder here from anybody trying to access. It's this folder here called banner issues. Matter of fact, let me rename it and we're going to put a little hyphen in there just to clear up any issues. So it's called banner issues. Let's just say that was the folder that I had my product in and I want to protect this folder from being accessed by anybody. So let's head on over to cPanel and we'll go to the password protect directory area. Now what I want to do is enter the name for the protected directory and that directory Actually, we want to go back here. Sorry, I have to click on banner issues because this is the folder. This is the folder that I want to protect, right? So I got to make sure that I click on it in this area right in here. So I click on banner issues. Now, this is the one I want to protect. Now, I can name it whatever I want. So let's call it product, okay? And if this was my product, I can name it whatever I want. That's just the name for the protected directory. Let me hit save. Okay. So now you need to have access, user access to access that folder, the path, banner issues. Okay. Because that is the folder that I protected, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and what happens is I get prompted for a username and password. Pretty cool, right? So only those that have a username and password have access to what's inside the folder. So that's a really easy way for me to protect a folder and sell my product. That would be my download link right there. Okay. And if they don't have the right username and password, this is what they're going to see authorization required okay so what I need to do is I need to go back okay this is the product I need to create a user so if I created a user let's say let's say this was a product and I wanted to protect it by put putting product owner as my user and then I've just put an easy little password in here Okay, you could use your password generator if you like, but I just put something easy and we're going to call it product owner or we'll call it download. Download product. We can add that user. Okay, so now only people that have this username and password can access that folder. Now you can email that to your your customers and they'll be able to access it okay now they're going to access it by going to this URL here let me hit enter so I get po the pop-up so let's go ahead and put that in there and then we'll put our password and hit OK and now that gives me access to all the downloads pretty cool right that's how you password protect a folder and you can put anything inside of it and you can allow only certain users to have access to that folder. 
That is a really cool feature in cPanel that almost works like a download page without you ever having to set up anything. You pretty much have your download page all ready to go. It has all the files inside of the folder. Makes things really easy. All right, thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we'll talk about setting up a database, creating a website, creating some redirect links, and uh, that'll wrap up this course. And by now, you should really start getting the hang of using your cPanel, what is inside of it. I mean, it literally took me months to figure out all of these little finite details inside of cPanel. Well, I hope you're getting a shortcut here and hope this is helping you out. Thanks for watching.